I'm half Sunni and half Shiite. Uh, many Iraqis jokingly now refer to people like myself as sushis. Uh, and, you know, like, it's like a, a, a getting our community are getting is getting smaller and smaller because there are less uh, mixed marriages. Uh, before 2003, I did not know who from my friends were Sunnis or Shiites. And we've never expressed any concerns. We've never heard any stories about this person being a Sunni or a, or a Shiite. Um, not only from a personal experience, the example that I always give is the uh, 55 deck of cards uh, that was printed by the Pentagon and CIA uh, when they went after the top 55 leaders in Iraq. Uh, 36 out of those 55 were Shiites. It's uh, almost the same representation publicly. Uh, I mean, not to say that the former Iraqi government was all inclusive and everyone was happy. Uh, but uh, it was a dictatorship that was secular. Uh, so people's ethnic and uh, sectarian uh, affiliations uh, were not really a part of that uh, oppression. Uh, if you supported the government, you were uh, you, you had a good life, and if you opposed it, uh, regardless of your sectarian affiliation, uh, you were destroyed, and, and uh, your entire family was destroyed. Unfortunately, these things changed completely now. They changed because of two reasons. The first one is the complete destruction of the Iraqi national identity. There is no, there is no civic identity in Iraq anymore. Uh, so people uh, went back, went, they, they went, regressed. They went to, to the other level that they can identify with. Uh, and that, unfortunately, was the sectarian affiliation. The second reason is that this is actually the system that was introduced by the United States in 2003. Uh, the governing council that was created by the U.S. in 2003 marks the first occasion where Iraqis were chosen to run the country based on their uh, sectarian and ethnic affiliations in Iraq's contemporary history. It never happened before the U.S. came.